So we're creating a pipeline here. This is all of our sales here. But I want to see just when the close dates are a certain date uh, or at least a period of date. So I want to filter all of this by date. Now I use this filter function, create a filter here and close this date. But you see they're like very specific dates here. I want to say, hey, just show me between this date and this date. And I want to just be able to see it in a dashboard on another tab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this tab. I'm going to say filter by dates. And I'm actually going to go and delete all of that data. And all I need is one row above here. I want a start date and an end date. And let's just pick one of these and another one. And let's say two weeks later. Over here in A3, in that first cell where there would be data, I'm going to write filter and equals filter. And the range I'm going to pick is going to be A through G or wherever my data is. And the condition is whatever the date column that I want to look at is greater than or equal to. Now let's go back to our dashboard and I'm going to select this start date. And so it's just going to say, hey, if a date in that column of F is greater than or equal to this particular date, show me. But I'm going to add a column and I'm going to have the exact same column that we're looking at, but now say less than or equal to the end date. And in that, and now look, all of these items are within this date inclusive of these dates. So also what I like to do, color these bright blue so I know that I can edit those. And on this page, I can't edit anything else. Look, I'm trying to delete other things. I cannot because it's only this one formula that's doing this. So again, this is great for dashboards. It's great for having a view on a tab that someone can just check, hey, are these the particular things I want to see? Maybe I look at today and or maybe I see a week before and today and there's NA. So if you don't want to see that NA, right at the beginning of our filter formula, write if NA, and then comma at the end, and write a message here. No matches found, in parentheses, and there we go. So we can also go back, see what dates are these. Want all of January, let's say, to the 31st, and there's all of January. This is a pretty cool way to create a nice little dashboard. You're watching Better Sheets here on YouTube. Make sure you check out this video or this video and subscribe right now to get more tips, tricks, how to's, get more out of your Google Sheets than you ever have before. I'm excited to be making a ton more videos here. Ask me questions down in the comments and I will answer them in future videos. But for right now, right here, one of these videos is gonna be your next Google Sheet.